Hello and welcome back to another quick update on my N-Gage portable layout and I've been working on the back scene uh, on the upper level if you remember um, from the last video I put um, this piece here in with the retaining wall well I've since gone along and I've created my own back scene sort of montage all the way along using a Pico uh, sky back scene and then I've cut my own buildings from images off the internet and also uh, some mountainous scenery there and various rooftops and warehouse type buildings and I've put them along the back as if they're behind the retaining wall um, I've carried the retaining wall all the way along um, we've got a couple of townhouse uh, images there with some scenery in between and then we've got a clock tower there uh, just peering over the wall a warehouse uh, which would be probably one of those three story ones and the t uh, top floor is visible over the wall and we've got a another building over there I thought that looked quite good it looks quite effective um, and I only had to pay for the Pico back scene I bought three of them but I uh, only needed the one in the end so I've got a couple of spare ones and uh, you know that completes that um, back scene it's simple straightforward I may get a little bit more scenery just in between there as per over there but um, that is a simple task um, and it's done effectively so uh, I'm happy with that and um, yeah this is coming on nicely now so we've got uh, quite a lot of scenery done so obviously next will be the train shed uh, roof which you can see on the right hand side there so I'll tackle that but yeah it's coming on nicely so that's just a quick update I'll just move in a bit so you can see the uh, montage again on the back scene so it's simple straightforward um, yeah there's a few areas where it's a little bit like there but I can't help that it's just the way it goes on but uh, yeah it's uh, made it look quite good so I'm happy with that so uh, that's it for this update and uh, thanks for watching